this nerd dish video, I'm going to give a quick demonstration of using a Raspberry Pi to control a model railway with a wireless Android tablet. First of all, you need to get a Raspberry Pi. The easiest way is just to go into a Maplings shop and pick one up. If there is no Maplings shop in your town, then you'll have to send off for it of course. If you get the kit from Maplings, it includes a Wi-Fi dongle and a miniature keyboard. The Pi connects via an HDMI connector to a television, which is an HDMI input socket. If you have only got a VGA monitor, you can connect it using a little adapter, as we are showing you here. The television we are using happens to have a VGA socket, so we are in luck. If you have only got an old television, you can connect it using a SCART adapter. You need to find a convenient place to house the Pi. It should not be somewhere you cannot see whether it is on, or not. So, just under the layout, is a good place. Here we put in a couple of screws, to hold the Pi in position using the template we just made. The advantage of using a Raspberry Pi, is that you don't have to have your laptop computer in the layout room, where it can get damaged by paint and glue. The Raspberry Pi runs the Java Model Railroad Interface, or JMRI for short. There is an automatic program for downloading and installing this on the Pi, which we tell you about at the end of the video. The Raspberry Pi runs the Linux operating system. The version of Linux which runs on the Pi is known as Raspbian. If you get the kit from Maplians, then you get an SD card with Raspbian already on it and ready to go. It does not matter if you mess up the Raspberry Pi, you can always download a fresh copy of Raspbian and copy the disk image onto on your SD card. To make a copy of Raspbian, you use a program called Win32 Disk Imager. Instructions on how to use this are on the internet. If you are using a Sprog as we are doing here, you need to note that it is to be connected directly to the Pi and not to a USB hub. Here you can see we have got it all connected up and as we move the slider on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, then the train will move. The program we are using is a freeware app for Android, which you can download by going to the Play Store. The name of this app is Engine Driver, so you will find it easy to remember. You see here we can control two trains at the same time, when we are only using a Sprog. The secret is below the layout, let's have a sneak peek underneath. This amazing device is doing all the work of a laptop computer for 30 quid. Here is the interface from the Pi to the layout. All we are using is a Sprog, which as you can see is also a very small device the size of a matchbox. Now, if we look over to the left, on top of the piano, we have got the television, which is displaying the JMRI program, which all proves it is working. On the display is the URL you have to connect it from your Android tablet. If you haven't got an Android tablet, you can use the miniature keyboard which is supplied in the Maplins kit, 